Today, a YouTube user by the name of Adam Ridley 11 asked me a very good question. He asked me how I apply algorithms to a 4x4 Super Cube. The 4x4 Super Cube here is in fact stickers from Gabasoft Cube Simulator. However, this is not the Gabasoft program. This is Cube Twister. So the first step is to download Java, which you can find at java.com or just type it into Google search engine because Java powers Cube Twister. Once you have downloaded Java onto your computer, then you download Cube Twister onto your computer, which you can find Cube Twister just as easily as you can find Java just by searching it in the Google search. And for Cube Twister, there are versions for both Mac and PC, so it shouldn't be a problem if you have Mac, for instance. Once you have installed Cube Twister onto your computer successfully, then you'll get something like this. And so the first step is go to cubes and here I'll just click Rubik's Cube and see we have a 3x3 three three. and as a matter of fact I'm just going to use the 3x3 three three as an example making Super Cube stickers for it from Gabasoft and I'll show you how I do that but what you do is uh, I'm gonna maximize the window you go to stickers and then Make sure that image is selected and that this checkbox is checked because if it's not, you just have to just check it like that. This right here, this blue, corresponds to the top face and you can't see it, but this is supposed to be a white. It's a shade of gray, but that's actually in this square. You can barely see it. Then this is the front face and so forth. So what this program allows you to do is take any image and you can place it on the cube. So it can be a picture of your dog or whatever you want to have on your cube. So all we have to do if we want to make a super cube from Gabasoft is take a screenshot of each of the six faces of the super cube and put all of the screenshots together into a square formation like this. Then afterwards, we just drag that right in here, and I'll show you how to do that. First, let me just go to Gabasoft, and I'll be using the 3x3 as an example, so I'll be going to the 3x3 Supercube. In order to have your stickers retain the highest quality in Cube Twister, when you take a screenshot of these, the cube should be as large as it can be. And, and so, just increase the size until but not to the point where you have this circle here touch this just enough like maybe this size and try to straighten it up so that eventually you can get it as straight as this or even straighter just so that the cube image is not crooked then all the arrows will be as straight as they can be on the cube pieces themselves and one thing to note also is that once you have one face completely straight and you can take a screenshot of it like this or even better then from that point when you want to get screenshots of other faces instead of moving it around like this and having to reset the position so that it's a, a decent position to take a screenshot of all you have to do is just hold down the shift key and then left click it and drag it to another area so that it keeps the same formation so you don't have to realign the cube every face and even more importantly when you align all of the faces together they will be parallel so it doesn't look distorted at all so what I've done is I've taken a screenshot of the red black yellow green orange and blue faces and I named the pictures those colors so if you have Macintosh or if you're using another type of word processor or picture editor that's fine, but I'm just going to be using Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Word, just start a new document. And what you do is you just insert all the pictures into the document. Or load them all into the page or whatever type of editor you're using. So for Microsoft Word, as you can see, it's the Insert tab, then Picture, From File, and then I have all of these on the desktop so I, I select them all it doesn't matter what order you do it in just select them that's blue now the green orange red 
and yellow. So now once you have all six, what you can do is just uh, zoom out and then uh, left click one of the pictures and then after you left click it or select it, then you double click it and you resize it to about a third of the page's width so that you can fit three on one page across. So for me, I'm just going to choose 30%, keeping the aspect ratio the same. And then it gets really small. So what you do from here in Microsoft Word, if you're using Microsoft Word, is you can just from here, you don't have to do that over and over again. Just left click each picture and hit F4. When you hit the F4 key, it will resize all the pictures the same percentage. So now we can zoom in on all of them and what we need to do, I have the pictures already done so I'm just going to show you that right here. This is how I have them. I just use some of these as placeholders. This black right here and this black right here and this yellow I think those are just slot holders because if we go back to this yeah these three the three corners this one that one and this one are slot holders so this one that one and that one are just slot holders but the rest of them are actually going to appear on the cube so this is you can just copy and paste it just like this with your top face covering making up the top and so forth from here all you have to do is once you have your picture from from Cube Twister, just unmaximize it and move it over with this still here and take the picture from the other one and drag it right into it. Bring it right inside. And just wait. And by doing that, you have a super cube. So I've done a super cube for the 3x3. 4 by 4, 5 by 5, and 6 by 6. I'll upload these images and put the links to them in the video description so that you can download these without having to make them yourselves. But if you want to make your own or you want to improve on my pictures, then you're welcome to. And note also that um, for these pictures, if you see, there's a white space on the right hand side, and also some below. What I forgot to mention before is just how you do it from here. How do you make the image once you have all of these nine s squares here? Just as when you were in Gabasoft, you wanted to make the cube as large as possible to keep the quality of the stickers the best. So here, just try to zoom in as much as you can. And based on my computer, I just zoom in to 92% or maybe it's 94% that's the maximum amount I can do or, or close to it that I can get all of it in one piece so I can take a screenshot of it right now and save it so here's the image if I were to just take this image and apply it on just drag it in there you see it's off some it's not perfect but all we have to do it turns out is um, just edit the picture I'm gonna I'm gonna edit it with paint all you have to do is just extend this so you have a little bit of white and then just save it just like that so now as a comparison This is the 3x3 three three we have. See, the stickers are a little bit off. I mean, it's pretty good, but you see these lines here? That's not really good. So if we drag the new edited image in, it's much better. You see, it fixes it. It's almost perfect. So all you have to do is just add in a little bit of white space on the side, and that's how that works. So you can do the same. When you have the 4x4 four four cube, you just go and you drag the image from the 4x4. Four four. I have to first select sticker image then I can grab it and drag it in. See that? it? You still have to experiment to make it a good picture but it's it's relatively good. 
And so for the 5x5 five five and 6x6, six six, you do the same process. But as the cube size gets larger, it gets more and more difficult to make it perfect, I would think. Because I had more problems with the 5x5 five five and 6x6 six six than I did with the 3x3 three three and 4x4. Four four. And for the 7x7 seven seven on Cube Twister, it's the V-Cube 7 version where it's pillowed. And with Gabasoft, of course, it's all cubes, not any pillowed shape puzzles so this really does not apply for that size cube but for making algorithms and testing algorithms for the most part the 3x3 three three through 6x6 six six should be sufficient and with cube twister what's good about it is you can apply algorithms to it so this is just the cube section you can move it with the, just clicking it but to apply algorithms to it you don't go in cubes anymore cubes is just to edit the cube itself what you have to do is go to scripts and what I do is um, I, I made my own scripts so in each script you have to have a notation selected so we have the 4x4 four four cube selected so if you left click this gear looking thing and go to cube make sure that the 4x4 four four super cube or whichever cube you want is selected then go to notation and make sure that a notation that you want to use is also selected. Now Cube Twister doesn't come with all these notations built into it. You have to make your own notations, but I'll just use WCA notation right now just as an example. So we have the 4x4 four four super cube and I'll just type in something and it may be hard for you to see because it's kind of small. Um, R2, B2, U2, left, U2, R prime, U2, R, U2, F2, R, F2, L prime, B2, R2. You can see we, we have a working 4x4 four four super cube that we can apply an algorithm to. The good thing with Cube Twister is with the, with the same script, you can select a different cube size and apply it to that one. So a 5x5 five five super cube, I have to make sure I go to notation and I select... Um, the same notation and then there it is okay and that's how I apply algorithms to the 4x4 super cube and the 5x5 and 6x6 and again in the video description I'll provide a link for the 3x3 through 6x6 super cube images as well as the links to Java and Cube Twister